I'm so excited guys, <laughs> but let's do it. Let's do it. Hello my friends and welcome to Art Fashion channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video I'm gonna bleach and dye denim jackets. I have two denim jackets, grey color and this dusty pink color jacket. I'm gonna customize them later, I'm gonna paint something very interesting on them. Uh, but for now I just want uh, to create interesting canvases for my future artworks. So I'm gonna bleach and dye these jackets to create very beautiful gradient effect on them. And I will show you step by step process of how I'm gonna do it so you can use this video as a tutorial. So let's get started! And here I am in my kitchen <laughs> because I'm gonna cook jackets later. And first of all, let me tell you that uh, this is my first time bleaching and dyeing jackets. Uh, and <laughs> I hope I won't mess it up. And if I will, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also following a, a tutorial actually of Russian artist. I found him on Instagram and here I will put his Instagram account. Uh, check him out. He makes amazing customized denim jackets. And if you know Russian, he has a lot of educational videos uh, on his Instagram, uh, how to paint on clothes, how to choose fabric paints and so on. So check him out. And here I have aluminum pots. I have a uh, bleach uh, artist whose tutorial I'm following. He said that he's using one liter of bleach for one jacket. And as I have two jackets, uh, I have here two liters of bleach. And I have here a bucket uh, with water. I have gloves uh, because I'm gonna work with bleach and it's dangerous and I should protect my hands. I have two colors of textile dye, a yellow color and blue color. Uh, yellow I'm going to use for grey jacket because I want to create gradient from grey to yellow and pink jacket I want to create gradient from pink to blue. I hope I will be able to create such gradients. <laughs> and uh, I have, don't know what is it, <laughs> I'm gonna mix uh, bleach with water using it. I have uh, this rack, actually it's my old t-shirt, <laughs> I'm gonna use it to clean my hands and I'm gonna start with grey jacket. And first I'm gonna put a jacket to bucket with water. I need to make it wet first, at least half of it, because then when I will put it to bleach, this reaction will start immediately and bleaching will be smooth. And yeah, let me put it first. And while I'm using aluminum pot, I could use uh, some plastic bowl. It's okay too. But the reason is uh, I need to make the bottom of my jacket white. Like the lighter, the better. Uh, and uh, when I'm using aluminum pot, I am able to put it on stove and boil the water. And then bleaching will be more effective. I will get better results and I will get faster results. But uh, if I use just some plastic ball, I won't be able to put it on stove and I will have to wait, you know, one or two hours to get the same effect. So yeah, I recommend you to use aluminum pot or bowl, but if you don't have, uh, of course you can use plastic ball as well, but you will have to wait. So let me put on gloves. And I have uh, in my pot hot water, as I said, high temperature makes bleaching more effective. And I'm gonna put a bit more water from kettle later. And now my jacket is wet, half of it, because I'm gonna bleach half of the jacket. And let me put it to the pot. And I want to put it, um, how to say it right, <laughs> I want to spread it, you know, I want to avoid wrinkles uh, because I want to create, you know, such smooth gradient. I don't want it to look like a tie-dye, so I'm trying to put it 
the way to avoid all the wrinkles but of course it's up to you you can create some tie-dye effect but I want to create smooth gradient and now I add a bit more hot water on the kettle I think it's enough and <laughs> ta -da -da! I'm so excited guys <laughs> but let's do it let's do it I'm gonna put just a bit and then I will add more I don't know um, and by the way <laughs> I'm wearing uh, old clothes of mine uh, because anything can happen so it's better to wear clothes which you don't care about much like so yes let's do it <laughs> And I should be very careful uh, because uh, I don't want to touch this upper part of the jacket. I don't want to have any stains. So I'm acting very carefully. Yes. Mom. I think it's enough <laughs> for now. <laughs> you know, uh, artist whose tutorial I'm following, he said, she said, don't afraid to make mistakes. <laughs> don't afraid to mess it up because uh, later I'm gonna customize this jacket. I'm gonna paint on it, so I can, you know, cover up all the mistakes uh, with painting with artwork. So yeah, I'm, I should feel myself more confident, but I still scared a bit. You know, the first experience is the scariest experience. Okay. So now let's put it on stove and let's boil the water. But one more thing, uh, it's important to uh, move jacket a bit, you know, up and down, up and down, because if I, don't touch it if I leave it like that. Uh, I will get straight line uh, between gray and this white color. Uh, but I don't want straight line, I want smooth transition. So I need to move jacket just a bit, just a bit. Up and down, up and down. And then there won't be any straight lines. Okay, let's put it on stop. Okay, let's do it. It's heavy. Ow. And I'm gonna turn this uh, thing on. I don't know the name of it in English, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I don't want to inhale this bleach, it's very dangerous. And also I'm gonna keep my windows open and maybe I will wear some protective mask. Um, yeah, we should be careful. So let's wait for the result. Okay, it's been uh, 40 minutes uh, probably and uh, the bottom of the jacket is pretty light. Uh, don't know if you'll get lighter than that, but I think it's enough. <laughs> and now it's time to go to the bedroom. Uh, and now I'm gonna take out the jacket very carefully because again, I don't want to bleach the upper part of the jacket. And then I'm gonna wash off the bleach with shower.
uh, well, <laughs> some parts of the jacket are lighter than the others and I don't know why. Uh, maybe I made some mistake, probably I should have mixed uh, bleach better with water, I don't know. Uh, but I hope uh, that after dying it won't be so much noticeable. <laughs> and now I'm gonna wash jacket in the washing machine uh, to wash off the bleach completely from the jacket. Uh, well guys, a grey jacket now in washing machine and I'm gonna bleach second jacket, a pink jacket, but I'm gonna do it off camera and then we will start dyeing these jackets. Okay, bleaching is finished and grey jacket bleached better than the pink one because I was so careful with the grey jacket because it was my first experience but with the pink one I was like, I can do it, I have an experience and <laughs> I have a couple of happy accidents <laughs> but as I said, I'm gonna customize these jackets later so I can cover up all these accidents so it's not a problem <laughs> and now Let's dye these jackets. I'm gonna start with a grey jacket. I want to dye it with a yellow textile dye, so the bottom of it will be yellow. So here I have a textile dye and I decided to follow instructions. I have here instructions because artist whose tutorial I'm following, he made it differently, but I decided that better to follow instructions. So it says that first I should dissolve it in a hot water. Here I have hot water. Then I should uh, pour uh, it into a pot with the warm water. And I have here warm water. Then I should add uh, salt and mix it all together. And then I should wet my jacket. So I have here a bucket again. And then I can put jacket into the dye and put it on the stove and cook it for 30 or 40 minutes. So let's do it! Uh, okay, 30 minutes has passed uh, and it says that I should wait until it gets cool, I should uh, leave it in a pot uh, and then I should wash off uh, dye with the shower and just put it to dry. Okay, I feel pretty exhausted now because you know this anxiety I had <laughs> that I will mess it up, I will mess it up. And now it's time to ble to dye one more jacket, pink jacket, and I hope the result will be beautiful. <laughs> Well guys, a couple of thoughts before I will show you the final result. 
uh, it was very interesting experience even though it was very very exciting experience uh, but next time and I will definitely use this technique again bleaching and dyeing next time I will feel myself much more confident because I will know what to expect and what kind of result I will get and I love the result it's worth the effort definitely and if you are new here on my channel and if you want to see the final final result because I'm gonna customize the GK Slater, I'm gonna create very very interesting artworks on them. So if you want to see this final final result, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so here are the jackets.